The reason why the IMI is developing professional standards for electrified vehicles is because, first of all, there's a duty of care on employers to make sure that their, their employees are working within the law. The, the, the Electricity at Work Act applies here. Health and Safety Executive are there to enforce it. Um, but also, you know, we need to know as an industry, we need to agree what the basic minimum standards are. So what does good look like if you're an employer? How do you know that you're safe, that you're making your employees safe, that the levels of knowledge they have, the, the equipment they have, all of those other requirements are, are being met to a standard that can be signed off so that you can, you know, you know you've done the right thing. This is more critical because of the safety factor uh, and the injuries that can be caused uh, when people are working on these uh, electric vehicles. There is a sizeable skills gap which exists within our industry, particularly in the area of electrics. And now is our chance to fill that gap and ensure that uh, our technicians are safe. The employers need to be aware of what their liabilities are. You know, the safety, the health and safety of their employees is absolutely paramount, but you don't know what you don't know. So working with the health and safety side of things, um, with the Electricity Work Act, knowing what your responsibilities are are absolutely important. Well, we always tick every box that we're meant to tick and, and health and safety being one of them. And it worries me greatly that anything, a liability could end up on, on my shoulders, you know, so it's really important that I'm up to date with what's going on and I make sure that goes down the line with people are aware of what their requirements are before working on a vehicle. I, I certainly don't want health and safety executive after me, so I'd make sure that we were safe as a business. And I think we had a great meeting today where we had some a, a very broad spread of opinions, but generally a lot of agreement around the fact that minimum standards need to exist. It's up to individuals whether they go above those standards, but we need to know where the baseline is and have a common currency. Mm -hmm.